You know, on the other side of warming up, there's something called a cool down. Uh, for example, if we look at the Olympics and we watch the runners, as soon as they come off the track, they fall down on the asphalt and they begin to stretch their legs out. Well, they might not fall down, they sit down. But the bottom line is they're stretching those legs back out. Why do you think they're doing that? The main reason is so that their legs are not stiff and they don't store that lactic acid and all of that heat so that tomorrow they're not sore and they can still run well. So as a singer, what you also don't want to do is you don't want to store all of that heat and all of that blood so that the vocal cords stay a, a little bit swollen and then you're going to be hoarse or sore tomorrow when you're trying to sing. Doing a cool down is the way to get around some of that. And the best thing to do when you finish a gig or when you finish working in the studio or you're done with a songwriting session or a practice is to begin to gently cool your voice down. Typically what I would want you to do is to go back up high and hot where you left your voice, hopefully, and then begin to just do circular motions or uh, what I call spiraling downward and do it on a simple soft hum. You can do vowel sounds if you like, but a lot of times people are embarrassed to do that in front of other people or if there's a lot of folks around after rehearsal. And so if you start with humming and just and just very gently begin to hum and close your voice down and do some siren sounds like you might do for the, uh, the warm up, but then you do them in reverse order. We call those backward sighs, something like this. Just real gently be, being able to kind of shake the tension out of your voice. So those are just a couple of things that can get you started on a cool down. And again, if you're interested in more information, please feel free to check us out at jansmith.com and we'll be happy to help you.